everybody! Um, today I have here uh, such an honor to actually have uh, Sabrina Mari Khan from Cosmetic World uh, in our Nimble Studio. Thank you so much, Hi. Sabrina. She's the first guest that we're actually doing a video chat with you guys. So thank you, Sabrina. No problem. <laughs> it's great to be here. I'm 24 and I am studying and I'm working full time also. And uh, my, my hobby or slash my business is Cosmetic World. Yeah. I sell cosmetics and yes. beauty products, skincare. Um, from international uh, countries, uh, regional countries, and also local. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we get it from the US, Malaysia, Indonesia, and even Singapore. We try to try to push for local brands to be so on our website yeah. because we want to support our homegrown oh, companies yeah. and also because I'm Muslim. Yeah. So halal and uh, vegan products. That's good. That's really good. So what inspired you to start Cosmetic World? I started in 2015. Mm -hmm. So when I started. Um, I was always spending a lot of money on uh, foundation, concealer, which, which are very expensive. Right. So I wanted to look for an affordable way to get all this stuff mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. without spending so much because mm -hmm. you know I was a student back then. Yeah. So I wanted to curb my expenses. Yeah. So we did some research, me and my best friend. Yeah. Um, so we decided to bring in stuff uh, from the US. Mm -hmm. uh, so at that point of time it was Colourpop. Mm -hmm. Colourpop is an indie makeup brand from the US, cool. um, very cheap. Yeah. Affordable, yeah. Um, and the colors are great. Yeah. So you know it, it suits all skin tones, yeah. and even mine. So yeah. you know what? We brought it in, yeah. and we started selling. Mm. After Colourpop was a success, yeah. we looked at other brands yeah. uh, from the US, mm -hmm. and then we slowly moved to Malaysia, right. in Asia, Indonesia, lashes. Okay, that's good because um, I use makeup, so um, uh, but not a lot. So you don't need yeah. it. <laughs> when I see Sabrina on Instagram, I'm inspired to like you know. One nice lashes, or like, like you look good. Like so, that's why I think they essentially like um what influencers really they do. They really inspire you to look good in your own skin. Right? It's like as long as you trust what I'm saying yeah. or what I'm posting about. Yeah. I mean. So I think there's a lot of um, trust um, building with your audience. And also when you're loyal to the brand, yeah. when you keep going back to that mm -hmm. brand, right. it, it's it's a good kind of relationship. Yeah. Uh, so so let's talk about um, some of the misconceptions about influencer marketing. Or basically, what is influencer marketing? As a brand owner, yeah. okay, there were instances, you know, when I first started out the business, mm -hmm. of course I wanted to sponsor a lot of Instagram girls. Mm -hmm. I assumed yeah. if I so, approached mm -hmm. a girl, for example, with 10,000 followers, mm -hmm. I will be able to reap the benefits. Mm -hmm. so I'll get more likes, yeah. more followers, mm -hmm. more sales. Mm -hmm. But that's all it is. Which kind of was really disappointing yeah. because I wasted yeah, yeah, money. money. Because it's all money. Because if you're not paying them a fee, you're paying them in terms of a product. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes um, they buy their followers, mm -hmm. sometimes they are forced to yeah. say something yeah. because they're getting paid. Yeah. You can get paid. If you like the product, yeah, you can still choose the product yes. that you want. Yes. It doesn't mean that you are forced to take it. If it, it doesn't suit you, tell the truth. Yeah, because at the end of the day, I mean, like the customers are trying the products. Yeah. But as an influencer, I think it's a huge responsibility. To be honest, to be honest, yeah. because the customers are buying. Yeah. So when even when brand appro approach me, not brand approaches me. Yeah. I will just choose the stuff that I like yeah, because I don't want anything to happen to your brand. Yeah. I don't want people to think badly of you. Yeah. I want to be real. If I don't like it, yeah. I just don't. Yeah. Like yeah. One of the biggest misconceptions is that you don't, they don't have a choice. They can choose the products that they actually want to carry, that they act that resonate with their personal branding. So if you are a product business owner and if you choose to align yourself with an influencer, you have to make sure that your goals and your objectives are aligned. And how about um, social media? How do you, how do you use social media to actually engage or build genuine connections with like your fans. Okay. For me on my personal page I like to take selfies. Mm -hmm. I like to take OTs. How I communicate with people is um through my posts, they'll actually DM me on my story. Mm -hmm. And you wanna make sure that it aligns with other brands. For example, if I sell makeup, I will still help other brands who are selling makeup. Yeah. I'm not selfish because I yeah. feel like everyone has a part to play. Yeah. So Instagram comments are very important, mm -hmm. hashtags are very important. Mm -hmm. Um, most importantly, like how I communicate with people is just direct messaging, direct and messaging. I always, always reply. But I don't reply to the hate. Reply to the good stuff. There's a hate. I'll just decline it. Yeah. Don't need to anticipate the hate. I always think that you start somewhere, yes. and you're always gonna be humble yes. and be nice to people yeah. as long as they have something nice to say. Right. Not everyone will love you. Yeah. So, but it's just always very important to be nice and yeah. kind. That's a very good advice uh, in business, especially because like not every customer is your customer. Yes. If you want a nice yeah. customer, you 
customers, you gotta be nice first. Yes. Oh, that's very good. Right? That's yeah. a very good yeah. advice. If you're an ideal customer, you gotta be an ideal seller. Yeah. Seller yeah. first. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure there were a lot of challenges when you were trying to grow your fans yes. organically. Yes. So how hard was that to grow? Um, and how long was that to grow as well? Like with this account, maybe a year. Yeah. Now I have about eight thousand plus my personal page. My business is about ten thousand and six hundred. Mm -hmm. How long was that to take? Like uh, since twenty fifteen. So, so two years. So two years to yeah. organically grow. Everything. So it's actually possible. Not so fast. Yeah. But it's a good grow. Uh, yeah. For stay plus grow. I don't buy followers. Yes. So hopefully. Uh, Honestly, yeah. there's no point of buying followers nowadays because it, buying followers means it doesn't mean anything. It just look like you know you have a lot of followers, but it's just there's nothing to the business. You know? So which is which comes to the point of like uh, how quality content, how important that is. Every post has to be curated so that you can really get the engagement. Who are some of your um, inspirations? I do admire some makeup retailers in Singapore, like for example, Pama Makeup. Uh, they are very big. Now. The fact that they push to put their products in stores, right. in physical stores, that yeah. is like my end game. Yeah. I am not there yet, but I hope you know, with more pop up goals, of course. And events yeah. like people, which when yeah. it comes to the beauty industry, like a lot of us like look into Korean products yeah. or like American products, yes. and it may or may not work for the Asian skin. Yeah. We need local, we need locally yeah. produced. Yeah. Makeup it takes a lot of time and capital, yeah. but it's not that you can't do it. You just right. need to find the right people. I hope it's yeah. you. I hope it's me. I, I hope it's you. I'm yeah. on my own lash line, yeah. so I'm hoping to push it. Uh, for those of you who are not in the know yet, uh, Sabrina also does a pop up boost and encourages women, ladies, girl partners yeah. to come together and basically sell their products and it was fantastic and I, and I saw for myself how Sabrina was taking care of like the whole entire event by herself and of course supportive friends and family things like that and to me as a guest in the uh, event I thought that was super tell us more about girl premier how important is supporting this women or women empowerment really it was actually me and this girl named Natalie she's actually a local expat so she has a women's wear label uh, Aparella. When yeah. we came together, she could bring her expert friends. Yeah. I can bring my local friends. Yeah. All the local business women mm. that I got mm. to contact mm. came down. Mm. Her friends came down. Yeah. So it was much more of like a mixture. Our main focus yes. would be not to have a lot of people come and buy so mm. much and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's more of me supporting you. Because we were all very close. Yeah. We started talking. Our families knew your family. Yeah. And we were all women. When you come together and you support one another, we are so powerful. Yeah, it's like we are like totally different industries, yeah. But I can resonate when it comes to like women empowerment, mm -hmm. how strong women can be when they are together. Yeah, right? We're supposed to build each other up. Yeah. And I, yeah. Like, I'm happy for you. You're happy for yeah. me. Okay, we won. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, because okay. when you support one another, we are gonna be unstoppable. Yeah. I wanted that, yeah. and and I'm so happy that it actually came true. Yeah. Came true. Yeah.